Tonight, the mother of four-month-old infant has created a GoFundMe account to help bury her child. The little girl's name was Brooklyn. She was found unresponsive in a car seat in the back of a daycare van yesterday afternoon. And she had been left in that van for nearly five hours when she was discovered. So this is what we know tonight about Daryl Ewing, the co-owner of Ewing's Love and Hope Preschool. He was arrested and charged with child neglect. This morning, a judge set his bond at $75,000. And tonight, this investigation continues. On your side's Ken Amaro is looking into the DCF inspections, and he joins us now from the newsroom. Ken? That's correct, Jenny. There are so many unanswered questions surrounding the death of four-month-old Brooklyn. Why was the daycare transporting children when its April inspection shows it was not applicable? Should a person arrested on child abuse, even though not convicted, be given a license to operate a daycare? Now, Brooklyn's mom in a social media post wrote, My family is in shambles and with so many unanswered questions. Questions we asked DCF. A memorial is growing in front of Ewing's Love and Hope Preschool, a tribute to four-month-old Brooklyn. The facility now closed. The state issued an emergency suspension order to cease operations. On Wednesday, the child was left in a hot daycare van for four and a half hours in her car seat. The daycare began business in 2016. A July 2018 inspection reveals three Class three violations, on transportation, the daycare was found to be in compliance. But an April 2019 inspection states the transportation question was not applicable, not applicable on driver's license, vehicle insurance, and inspection, not applicable on seatbelt restraints. Yet it was still in operation. DCF told On Your Side this facility did not notify DCF that they were transporting children. What changed between July 2018 and April 2019? Also, what about the daycare owner, Glorian Ewing? December 2017, Ewing was arrested on child abuse charges. She entered pretrial intervention and was not convicted. But did DCF consider her arrest in giving her a license? Ewing did not respond to calls nor visit to her home. And now the mother of a four-month-old child has turned to a GoFundMe account to raise money to bury her child. Now, DCF is not doing interviews on this case, at least not yet. We wanted to know why was the daycare van operating and not following proper protocols. And also, we wanted to know, did the, uh, the recent inspection miss the van being used? We were told that child care licensing standards require any provider transporting children to notify DCF. DCF was not notified that the facility was doing so. Both child protective as well as child care licensing are now investigating this case and we'll continue to follow it. Back to you. Ken, thank you so much.